Greetings back again and as you can see here this is the PS1 that I showed in my latest pickups video and uh, what I thought we can do here is uh, take a look at this and see if we can figure out what is wrong with it now I have it plugged in here and if we turn it on you can see we get the green light but we get nothing on the screen here you can hear a sound playing but there is no video and uh, I know the cable works so what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna open this up here and uh, take a look inside and uh, see if I can uh, find where the problem is so I'm gonna take it apart here and uh, we'll take it from there right so here is uh, the board out of the case and as you can see it has a mod chip installed which I didn't know about so that was a nice surprise and uh, this is one of the old four wire mods now what I've done here is I've gone over the board I've cleaned it up uh, got rid of all the dust and I uh, also went over um, IC102 over here and uh, this is the chip that holds uh, uh, what's it called the um, the BIOS. So I went over that, reheated the legs on that, and still didn't get any picture. But uh, what I did is I got a uh, an RGB cable, and uh, I hooked that up. And if we start this up here. So as you can see here, with the RGB cable, I'm getting sort of a picture here. Um, the only problem here is that it isn't stable. So I'm guessing that the problem is with the sync. And uh, the uh, sync signal is coming out on pin uh, 6 on the uh, AV port here. And that is also the composite video. So, that's probably where the problem is. Uh, I don't know if it's on the port itself or if it's somewhere on the board, but I'll have to take a look at that. But yeah, that's probably where the yeah the, the problem is. So, I'm gonna have a look at that and see if I can pinpoint exactly where the problem occurs. So, I'll be right back here. So this is what I wound up doing here. Uh, instead of going all over the board and trying to find exactly where the problem was occurring, I instead decided to do a uh, sync mod. And uh, I'll post a link to the uh, uh, the guide that I followed to to do this. But basically, it's just uh, a wire uh, soldered onto a point on the board here and on this wire there is a 75 ohm resistor and a 220 microfarad capacitor and then that goes to the uh, pin 6 on the AV out here <coughs> and uh, this uh, taps into a raw sync signal so what this means is that uh, I can only use this with an RGB SCART cable here but that's not really a problem as long as uh, as long as uh, it works so if we turn this on here and I'll show you what it does now and the flickering here that you might see is just the camera uh, the picture on the TV here is really nice it's very crisp and colorful so this seems to be working fine here so all I need to do now is uh, put this back into the case and uh, make sure that it works when everything is put back together and uh, then this should be all ready to go so I'm gonna put this back together and uh, we'll take a final look at it
Alright, so here we have the system put back together and I have it hooked up, so we'll start this up here and hopefully Yay! It's working! So, seems like we have this uh, PS1 up and running again so let's uh, let's put in a game here and try this make sure it loads the game as well well looks good so far Yeah, so this seems to be working just fine and uh, picture quality looks great. So that uh, uh, sync mod seem to have done the trick. And with the uh, mod chip Round that was in, this should play uh, backups as well. But yeah, the PS1 is alive again, and uh, that's all I have to show you this time, so bye for now, and I'll see you soon.